Hi, I'm Cassidy Cheshire. I'm a musical theater major and I snowboard because I'm from New Mexico. So I started doing theater in middle school and um, I didn't, I mean, it, at first it was something that just made me feel at home and then I stopped doing it in high school just because I, you know, I made friends and I actually joined the swim, the swim team and I kind of fell out of it for a bit and then I got really, really into it again, like my sophomore year of high school, just because it was actually something I loved and it wasn't about the social aspect, it was more just like a passion of mine. Well, my name was Crystal Rosario. Now I, I go as Charlie Rosario. I'm a transgender person. Fun fact about myself is I can stick things in my nose so it looks like it's going into my brain. It's not gross at all. <laughs> um, purity, I think, means probably like being without contamination. That's what comes to my mind. Sex. <laughs> or lack of, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, just, I think of sex, I think of um, the social construct of virginity and that that can be taken away from someone. I mean, you know, being raised in the way that I was raised by my parents and things, I think gender definitely does affect the way that I view purity because I was always taught to make sure that I was making good choices for myself and staying pure, especially in my religion. So. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not that way for me now, but I think growing up, it definitely affected me in the way that my gender was affected by the idea of purity. Like, they went hand in hand while I was growing up. Sorry, I'm gassy. I grew up in a Christian household. I we barely went to church, it was hard to find one. One of the churches we went to, I just remember being in the middle of it when I self-identified as gay and feeling that negative energy around me, feeling like everyone in the room is against you during a sermon was the worst feeling I could ever, ever have. They were talking about specifically homosexual and explicitly homosexual relationships and how it's wrong. I was crying and my mother said, I'm glad you finally agree with God. Um, I think purity is much more about pure of heart than pure of body, I think that um, as long as you're respecting yourself and you know what's good for yourself, then you're pure. I mean, if you want to not be a virgin and if you want to go have sex with people, I don't think that makes you an unpure person. And I don't think that's very different, though, from a lot of people's views today. I think people are definitely warming up to that idea more, that people, you know, are entitled to do what they want with their bodies. And as long as you're taking care of yourself, like I said, and being responsible, then I don't see why you should be called unpure. I think that I, I just, I don't think that there has to be a huge difference in that. I don't think that purity is a reflection on virginity. My partner has been nothing but supportive through all this. She's the one that kind of cracked, cracked it open. I wouldn't have even began to think about myself in this way, but it was very tricky at first. It was very hard, um, especially going back to purity, sex. Um, how do I think of you? How do I imagine you as my partner? That's what she's thinking. How, how do I, like, I'm pretty sure she was walking on eggshells, you know, in the beginning of my transition, in the beginning, you know, of this shift in the relationship. But now she calls me her man and she, you know, and she's my biggest support right now at the end of the day, if I'm feeling shitty. My parents and their parents, well, my mom's parents got divorced as well, and then my parents got divorced, and so there's just, you know, lines of divorce through my family, and I think that that really, and I've actually discovered this this year through talking to my roommate and a couple of my other friends, um, I think that that really affects the way I go into relationships and view them, and I think um, I have a bad habit of uh, like giving myself too easily not in just like you know purity and sex and that type of thing but emotionally too because I want to believe that there is like good relationships out there and that there's something for me um, and I think that that definitely has affected you know how I view purity and and that because um, I feel like I've kind of thrown it away a bit in a way just because I trust too easily because of my parents divorce Yes, I do think that my um, recent relationships and recent experiences have affected the way that I view purity and, vir and virginity in the way that, you know, I know what I deserve now and
and so I'm going to be more protective of myself in terms of like not so much virgin but like purity just like like I said pure of heart I think that I should be with somebody who you know respects that and somebody who respects me and so I think that that really goes hand in hand with what I've learned about purity. My partner's parents have been very supportive. They, um, they've known kind of, they've, they've known people that have gone through this transition. So they do understand, um, I guess since it's, it is more personal, it's more in the family, uh, since I am uh, with their daughter. Um, they made their best efforts. They knew me as Crystal, but they always call me Charlie. Um, they still stumble on pronouns, but they're trying their very best. You know, they, they correct themselves. And they've, um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. They, they were nothing but supportive. And um, yeah, her mom was the best. <laughs> You know, she kind of makes up for what my mom did, and you know, I, I miss her. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I've never done a show that um, has anything that would, in my opinion, like make people uncomfortable um, you know I've been in like Tarzan and Shrek and things like that so people don't really get offended by those things um, but I'm actually doing I'm in my friend's senior project right now and I don't um, there's a song in it that we're doing called Big Spender and it's basically about all these women who are prostitutes um, so that's a new thing for me that I'm doing and I'm a little bit stressed out about it just because I've never been like promiscuous on stage but I have to like spread my legs and like smoke a cigarette on stage and I mean that's part of the business so it doesn't really bother me but I am a bit concerned about you know what people might think and especially because my teachers have never seen me in a role like that before so it's gonna be new and um, I don't yeah I'm a little nervous about it just because I don't really put myself out there in public like that. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think that I would have to really consider, I mean, not now because I'm at this point I'm taking everything I can possibly get, but you know, later on if my career grows, I will be probably very choosy about what I am in because I don't want to reflect a bad image. Um, but right now, you know, if I'm in something that's a bit more promiscuous and my parents want to come see it, then that's just something there gonna have to deal with. I don't really think it affects my opinions on like virginity or purity because I mean that's the industry, that's the world nowadays. So I definitely want a family when um, I grow up, when I'm a real adult. Um, you know Ash and I like sometimes we sit down and just like talk about the future, like the possible future and we've even stated that we would like to have gender neutral names for our children. What if they do feel and discover that they're not the gender or sex they were born with, just like I did. Um, so we're gonna be definitely in a liberal social justice warrior household. So our kids can do whatever they want. And if we do have more than one kid, um, male, female, whatever is in between, they're all gonna be treated the same. They're all gonna be given the same education on sex. Like, I'm not gonna be more explicit with my son than I am with my daughter, just because a boy can handle it and a girl's too, like, dainty. Um, but, you know, we're not gonna push being pure upon them. We're not gonna shield them away from the world. We're gonna just educate them um, the best that we could. And sex isn't dirty, sex is natural. You know, that's what the way I wanna raise my children, see the world. And you're not dirty if you have sex. Oh shit. <laughs>